How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I'm a second year medical student studying in Canada. So last week I put up a video on the five most competitive medical specialties here in Canada and that one was really well received. So what I want to do now is actually branch off from that, do a few more videos on the different Canadian medical specialties, going over some a little bit more in depth and answering questions. There's a ton of videos that I want to get out in the next few weeks, but I'm also starting clerkship next week and I have a feeling things are about to get really, really busy for me. But if you do want to help keep me motivated, to keep getting these videos out and also help me convince my friends and family that using whatever free time I have left to make YouTube videos is actually beneficial, go ahead and flatline that like button and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But anyways, on the topic of being busy for today, we're actually going to be talking about the five types of doctors here in Canada that work the longest hours. Now, there's a growing misconception over the last few years that doctors here in Canada only work part-time hours and they bill crazy amounts of money for it. Now, while there's definitely going to be some doctors that do work part-time, they're going to be the exception to the rule. And actually, as far as 2020 goes, as per the official CMA statistics, we see that across all of the different medical specialties, the average doctor here in Canada will work somewhere around 63.75 hours per week. Now, when you compare that to the country's average for working hours, it's actually more than 1.5 times the average working Canadian citizen. And there's a spectrum for it too. It goes all the way from psychiatrists on the one hand that work for approximately 51.5 hours per week, all the way up to the five specialties that we're going to be talking about here today that work much more in some cases than 60 hours per week. Now also just keep in mind that everything that we're going to be talking about today represents the specialty as a whole. Like personally, I do know of family doctors, for example, some small town family doctors that do work 70, 80, or even more than that hours per week. But all of the data that we're going to be talking about represents the specialty average as a whole. And finally, all of these average hours worked are calculated for after residency. Residency, for those of you that don't know, is actually the period of time for many doctors where you're expected to work some crazy hours, 70, 80, or even more than that hours per week, definitely not uncommon during residency. So we're just going to go ahead and assume that you're going to survive residency. Now, starting off with number five for the most hours worked as a doctor in Canada is internal medicine and the associated subspecialties coming in at around 67 ish hours per week. Now, when we're talking about general internal medicine doctors, or even the subspecialties like cardiology, gastroenterology, what you're going to see is that the majority of these specialists do tend to practice at a larger academic based hospital, but some will also practice at community based hospitals or a private practice. Now, these types of doctors tend to spend the majority of their time in either direct patient care or some indirect patient care, but they also do things like research and some administrative work. Now, around 73% of all internal medicine based doctors do provide some form of on call services. And out of those that do, they average about 110 additional hours per month of on call. However, only around 55 of those hours every single month goes towards direct patient care. Now for this point moving forward and for the remainder of all my calculations, I'm only going to include the on-call hours spent directly with patients in the final calculations and that's going to provide an underestimation of how much these doctors are actually working. But this is definitely just going to help facilitate the calculations and although there is something to be said about the mental taxation that comes with being on call and still not having to see patients directly, this is just going to help even the playing field hopefully across the different specialties that we're comparing. Specialty number four in terms of most hours worked are going to be a few of these surgical specialties. And for here, we actually have a tie in and around the 70 to 70 and a half hours per week worked between general surgery, plastic surgery, and orthopedic surgery. And actually out of the three, general surgeons tend to work the most hours. Now to focus a little bit more on general surgery specifically, these doctors tend for the most part to actually practice at a community-based hospital, although some actually do academic-based institutions as well. However, not many of them actually get into private practice. It's only around a 3% rate here in Canada for general surgeons that take up private practice. Now, unsurprisingly, most of the time spent for general surgeons is going to be in either direct or indirect patient care, but there is also going to be some time spent in administrative duties as well as continued professional development. So keeping up with the newest research regarding patient care or surgical methods is going to be very important in this specialty. Coming in third for number of hours worked is urology, which totally blows away everyone that I tell for the very first time. But urologists on average work around 76 hours hours per week and the majority of them do tend to practice in either a community-based hospital or a larger academic hospital. It's pretty split down the center and not many of them actually pursue a private practice either. Like some of the other surgical specialties that we've already talked about, there is a very heavy focus on direct or indirect patient care, but these specialists on average tend to do more time per week spent on research than some of the other previously mentioned specialties. Okay, now this is where it really starts to get crazy. We've just gone ahead and crossed the 80 hour per week threshold. Coming in at number two, we 
that critical care medicine doctors that average about 82 hours per week spent working. Now, just to go ahead and add a little bit of perspective here, if the average work week, the nine to five, five days a week is supposed to be around 40 hours per week, this is double that. So there's only two ways to really do that, I guess. You could either give up on sleep altogether, or you could go ahead and just double the amount of time spent working every single day. So if the normal work week is about eight hours per day, now you're working 16 hours per day, five days per week. That means that if you wanted eight hours to sleep, basically for the rest of your working life, then you'd pretty much have to give up on eating or watching TV or doing anything else for the rest of your career. Now, what we're gonna see for these specialists, once again, is a heavy focus on direct patient care, but we now have a substantial burden of administrative duties as well. And in addition, there's continued professional development, which makes sense because in critical care medicine, you are literally taking care of the sickest of the sick patients with multiple system organ failure. And finally, the specialty that requires you to work more than any other specialty here in Canada, I don't know if you guys could guess it, cardiothoracic surgery takes that number one spot with an average of 82.25 five hours worked every single week. These doctors tend to practice almost exclusively at large academic centers. And when it comes to what they're actually doing in their 82 and a bit hours per week, again, we're gonna see that heavy focus on direct patient care, but all of the other little activities as well also have some time allocated to them. Now, after last week's video, I had so many messages, more so on Instagram, of people messaging me about how much these surgeons make and this, that, and the other thing when it comes to physician compensation. But what I think is really interesting in terms of perspective, and perhaps maybe a good take home message for you guys watching at home is that out of all of the cardiothoracic surgeons, again, these are the people that do work the most in terms of hours worked per week, we see that only around 33% of these people are happy with their work-life balance. And I mean, to me, that makes total sense. Like this is even a lowball estimate of how much these doctors are working. There is only a finite amount of time that exists in a week, 168 hours, you go ahead and minus 82 hours per week, then you divide the time out evenly, basically, there's, there's, there's no time left. If you're gonna go ahead and sleep for eight hours per day, which is you know the recommended amount of sleep that people get, you're left with only a few hours every single day to, to do whatever it is that you want. Now, I have a tremendous amount of respect for these people, but for those of you guys that went ahead and messaged me saying that you wanna get into cardiothoracic surgery because they make so much money, just understand that there is a trade-off and go ahead and keep that in mind as you continue on your professional journey. Uh, it's basically the only advice that I wanna give you for now. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. Those are the top five types of doctors here in Canada that work the longest amount of hours every single week. I hope this video was able to help you guys a little bit in some way. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions and we'll see you all in the next one. So everyone take care.